lecture about uh, the superior <coughs> nature of Kerala mathematics, then I need not go into that side. I will bring up the paper. Kerala's unique contribution to world mathematics have been greatly acknowledged. It is proved that certain infinite series like arc tangent, sine, or cosine were widely discussed in Kerala at least three centuries before the emergence of mathematics, which began with Sir Isaac Newton. Scholars like K. V. Sharma, C. P. Rajagopal, Amos Rendajari, and others have provided a sound base for the inquiries on the mathematical practice of the medieval era. However, the works of Jock, even his Joseph, in recent time, after examining the growth of mathematical tradition in different cultures, now proved that with clinching evidences, he proved that. The genuine nature of Kerala mathematics, and uh, he argues that mathematical concepts mediated in Kerala were born on a part of the studies of Newton, Euler, or James Grigal. Then, as part of this is the introduction, as part of my research in the field of education in Kerala, the, myself I lectured uh, Malayalam periodicals that belonging to the last decades of 19th century. The intention was, my object was to prepare an index of the educational article published during the last uh, quarter of the 19th century. And uh, uh, one of the articles, one of them was titled Manakam. And uh, it was written by one Subramanyaya, an education officer of the Esquire Travel Posty. The title says that, with the spread of modern education, the use of slate became fashion among the students. Until that time, students practiced simple arithmetical calculations on the sand spread in front of him. Then, they would also uh, keep palm leaves containing formulas in the form of verses or caricas. But their use was very limited. Teachers of modern time, and he was telling about the, he was referring to the modern teachers, uh, starting with the uh, <coughs> colonial uh, period, insist the students to use uh, Calculations in the uh, on the slate, <coughs> and teachers of modern school encourage them to calculate even the simple arithmetical problems on slate. All use of slate in the classroom hampered the natural fluency in arithmetical skill, and he was uh, there was a stiff criticism against the use of uh, slate in the classroom because that uh, obstructed the fluency of the or that hampered the fluency of learning arithmetic learning and. Uh, then early students had solved even the higher level mathematics by using mental representations and cognitive maps. And they were excellent in perception, speed, and logical reasoning. The writer reminded the students and teachers that in everyday life, mathematics was inevitable and it was quite impossible to carry slaves wherever individual goes. So, to discourage, he asked the teachers to discourage the use of in the, uh, slaves in the classroom. And similar uh, <coughs> opposition was there in Kerala when computers were uh, introduced. There was dark scale protest by the uh, people against the use of computers. Then again, the, and this is, there are so many corroborating evidences uh, to uh, vindicate or to substantiate the observations of uh, IL. The observation of fire was further strengthened by travelers of different periods. Mahuan, 14th century Chinese traveler, writes that in the method of calculation, they, that means he, uh, he was referring to the people of Calicut, do not use calculating planes. And we know that in China, uh, is, uh, some tables are there. And uh, for calculating, they use only two hands and two feet and 20 digits on them. And they do not make slightest mistake in this. And this is very extraordinary. This is the 14th century observation about the calculation for the skill of the Kerala people. Peter the Lavender, an Italian traveler, in his letters, uh, he visited Calicut and gives a description about the arithmetic learning of the children. He writes, The boys learned arithmetic in a strange manner. They were four and having taken the same lesson before the master to get that uh, the same by heart and repeat likewise for the former lessons and not forget them. One of them sung musically with continued thought. And this is the description about the learning of students in the uh, practicing the mathematical, mathematical uh, practice. Then Alexander Walter. Alexander Walter was an English officer who worked in Kerala during the last uh, decades of 17th and first, uh, 17th century. And uh, he writes that, and uh, his uh, observations are available. It is captain in Scotland, 
library, National Museum. And he was a military officer under the East India Company of Pakistan. He was never about the, the Kerala Republic or the students learning. Uh, he was referring to the Hindus made, use of the, made no use of experiment. And it is extraordinary that without this aid, they showed difficult and hidden branches of mathematical astronomy and algebra. And another man, Alamus missionary, worked with travel for Samuel Bittir. In his land of charity, the which the village school teachers of Kerala extraordinarily brilliant in their computational abilities. Autobiographies of different categories. We have number of autobiographies uh, belongs to belonging to 19th century, last uh, half of the 19th century, uh, by the indigenous people, native uh, people. That uh, they all are uh, telling that the curriculum was overloaded with the. Uh, many of them uh, could not understand why this is uh, more important than any other subject. They and uh, proficient in mathematics. Uh, and Mahatma Narayana Vatadini, in his small, very short poem about Kutsin Tap, he was uh, uh, when he went to there, he saw that people poetry in the town were proficient in mathematics with the sound knowledge in formulas and computation prescribed in Lilavadi, a mathematical texture about which already a presentation is over. That I need not refer uh, to that aspect. Then it is generally believed that Kerala mathematics has its origin from 14th century and its glory died out, died out by the end of 16th century. However, historical enquiries reveal that the root of mathematics in this region lies in the period of early Tamil anthology. <coughs> the Tiruvattu considers letters and numbers similar to two eyes of human beings. Mathematics had a prominent place in the curriculum of, in the curriculum of Sangam age, along with philosophical works again continue, mathematics was like called uh, Arab was also uh, taught in Tirunapadi. Then these people, common people, had a knowledge in calculation with the fraction uh, numbers. We have evidences about that. It is interesting to note that ancient Indian mathematical tradition was perpetuated successfully in, in Kerala than elsewhere. It appeared in Peninsula of India through Iron Dramas during the their southward movement, which started around the 6th century C. All, all the best commentaries on Iron Radio appeared in Malayalam speaking area. Then we have a contemporary astronomical work, Lithu Paskarema Vyakya, composed in Shatayar 791, which corresponded to 869 AD by Shankara Narayana, the core astrologer of Tanuriti, the second ruler of the second among the rulers of Chera, uh, Chera Kingdom. It was a summary and this uh, Yaku Bhaskiri Vyakya was the summary and simplification of Bhaskara's work for the instruction of children or less intelligent people. He was referring to that there are many people having less intelligent in mathematics. Then uh, his intention was to enlighten these people and the very purpose of it is uh, mentioned in the text that the very object of the text was to uh, educate the uh, slow learners or the less intelligent people as far as mathematical skills are concerned. Then, as a mathematical genius, Shankaranayana think that, thinks that it was his duty to enlighten the weaker students in that discipline. The main object of this work was to deal systematically with the models of operandi for determining the position of planet using the principle of arithmetical calculations enunciated by Aryabhata. The progress of astronomy at the Chera capital under the patronage of Tar Sanurami is highlighted by the references to Jasi Chakra marked by Yandravaya, Yudanri Kev, part of the observatory which King Rivi Varma had, Sanurami had established there. The popularity of the science in the kingdom as a whole is indicated by the statement of the position of Jupiter in most of the Tamil inscription. We don't know whether uh, outside Kerala, whether in inscription, the position of uh, Jupiter is mentioned. It is a unique feature of uh, Kerala inscription. Say that, scholars say that it is the, yes, it is practiced in Kerala alone. And, uh, and some, uh, they also mentioned eight month weekdays, asterism, etc. Such data help the calculation and sometimes the correction of a given day. It was already known that Jupiter moves about 30.5 degrees in, in the course of a year. 
and there are many inscription we can say that jupiter was the jupiter is mentioned and the column is is mentioned and the days and everything is given in the inscription that is why people think that as i have already told you that uh, many people think that uh, the mathematical tradition starts with 14th century and we have when we look at the inscription and uh, of era belonging to uh, 9th century we see that this kind of calculations were uh, done by the people during that time the temple inscription provide ample evidence for the people's interest in the games with number. Then, when they wanted to indicate the rightful year of a king, instead of giving it as such, it was written in a split map. They never write the number, and many inscription number is given exactly. But they, uh, for example, when they wanted to write uh, the 36th year of uh, uh, rightful year of a king, they wrote it as 30 plus 6. 30 plus 6 means ayam uh, uh, sorry nala mande ke the mupati randa mande and this was issued uh, in Kandale. and the why this is uh, this is also an indication of the okay parking to the proper day the example of certain inscriptions are recorded in Kali days also and how to convert Kali days it is also recorded to in the various paper and I did not explain then an interesting thing is that. Um, people of the period had a clear idea about the complex calculations uh, involved in conversion of Kali day into Kolapira, which came into existence uh, in 825 uh, itself. Then, unlike other parts of India, majority of inscriptions in Kerala were not issued by the ruling authorities. There were, of, uh, there were resolutions of village assemblies of temple committees and prepared by the local scholars. That means, uh, in local level mathematics, higher level mathematics was. Uh, very popular. Then, <coughs> okay, letter numeral games like Kadapayadi and Buddha Sikha were also popular in early medieval phase. These were used to make the Kaivakyas, and it is also uh, some ideas were already given about the uh, Kadapayadi and Buddha Sikha. And uh, with these, with the numbers of years and days were easily accommodated in literary verses for inscription. Then, uh, for example, in Kandiru method inscription of uh, Kodavarma, the date was issued, uh, date of issue was mentioned in Kalivakya as Vishamam Punya Mekam, and, uh, and like that. And uh, the Vice has already showed how to convert the Kali by using, uh, I don't remember, uh, okay. by using Kadabaya. Then, and uh, Buddha Sanya tradition since the time of Shankar, we have also Buddha Sanya tradition since the time of Shankaradam idea. Then uh, this system of numerical notation has been, of course, invented in order to facilitate the composition of metrical handbooks of uh, astronomy and so forth. Then uh, Sagarana in his Vivarana, the Gubaskere was uh, had eight chapters and it was called as Vivarana. And uh, on request of King Sanyavi, he calculates, Sagarana calculates the epic, uh, solar eclipse of the time with the help of Buddha Sanya. Uh, like thus, Angar Tambara Nanda Veda Manu Diriyare Dinangari. It was a, a, a statement uh, by using the date is given uh, by using uh, Buddha Sanya. It can be decoded. Uh, uh, Angam is equal to 6, Radu is equal to Radu in season. There are 6 seasons. Ambaram, sky is 0, uh, then Nandas, 9, Veda, 4, and the like. And uh, we can uh, arrive and final at the uh, End of the calculation, we reach at the correct date. Kadabayani and Buddha Sikya system was widely used in Kerala until recently, until uh, the uh, British period, the colonial uh, period. It was an integral part of pre colonial village calculation and was known as parallel period. It was widely known as both of them together, known as parallel period system, and it was the form of the core subject of the curriculum. Then, uh, then uh, they were not only used to form chronograms, we have referred to the chronograms, but then to remember fraction ratio between area of circle and diameter and the like. And then we also referred to the 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 ratio between area and uh, area of circle and diameter uh, can be calculated by using this and this mentioned. Then much has been written about the higher level mathematics developed in Kerala during the period between 14th and 17th century. 
The subject was monopolized by hegemonic Brahmins and books concerned were composed in Sanskrit language alone. By around 16th century ACE, there had been an unprecedented interest in Sanskrit among the people of Kerala. Consequently, village school called the Pudipadi students started to give over emphasis to Sanskrit language education. Proficiency in Devapasha instilled them more of self confidence and self respect. There was a uh, tendency to learn. Everybody uh, started to learn uh, Sanskrit. Then mm -hmm. we have references in the indigenous as well as foreign uh, records mentioning this kind of people interest in the uh, learning of Sanskrit language. Uh, there was a tendency among the native scholars to get all sort of knowledge hitherto concealed in Sanskrit. That is why there is a, uh, this answer. The question why people are uh, translating all these things from Lidavati to popular uh, vernacular mathematics. There was a tendency among the native scholars to get all sorts of knowledge hitherto concealed in Sanskrit into common term. Regional political authorities called Zulu books and prominent feudal families had patronized with literary activities and the period produced a large number of original or retold version of high quality works in different areas. <coughs> Alexander Vata, yes, I uh, mentioned his name earlier, Vata uh, uh, remarked to this. It has been a long practice in Malwa to translate the Sanskrit work into common term and translate them to vernacular characters. By this means, knowledge has been more generally diffused among the inhabitants and it is less confined to any order or class and people are better acquainted with the mysteries and dogmas of the religion. The spirit of enquiry and, and of liberty has most probably been affected by the Sudras who composed the great body of population and who were um, in possession of principal authority of property in the country. For example, and every sort of books were, uh, got into, uh, were translated into vernacular uh, Malayalam. Became a uh, <coughs> creation activity. For example, Yukti Basha of Jekta Deva, which deals with rational in mathematics and astronomy, is written in vernacular prose. It became <coughs> it becomes the first scientific literature in Malayalam. Then it cannot be uh, then it is understood that uh, it is understood that vernacular mathematics was the continuation, uh, it is understood that uh, vernacular mathematics was the continuation of the old Sanskrit tradition. It cannot be studied in isolation. Then uh, in this time, mathematics permitted every level of life, but it was never been as original as it was in the medieval uh, period. It became rather a recreation activity than a subject of intellectual discourse or deliberations. And I am uh, talking about the pre colonial period and uh, not uh, talking about the medieval contributions. Then, this also, this period also failed to produce any one of the mathematicians having the capacity of Sankara Narayana, Mahatma, Nilagata, or Achuda Vishayana. <coughs> Literacy and culture. Another factor is that um, uh, how uh, mathematics became a popular subject in Kerala that is to be analyzed historically and historical products are to be analyzed. Literacy and computation skill of the people of pre colonial period is to be analyzed against the background of Kerala's role in the international trade network. Malaba, along with Coromandel and Ceylon, linked the trade from Red Sea and Venus Persian Gulf to the Chinese coast. Medieval trade flourished in different levels like that of local market, long distance overland trade, and long distance overseas trade. Trade necessitated the transformation of economic structure with enlarged agrarian settlements, emphasis on the cultivation of spices and other cash crops, growth of markets and town, and so on. Development of new ports and harbors were, in, uh, were inevitable uh, in this regard. Economic life of the Kerala during this period was dependent on the commercial contact with foreign countries. Certainly, uh, an effective trade system demanded people with basic language skills, advanced mathematical knowledge, standard machine techniques, and accounting. Mahwan cries. Uh, again, I am quoting uh, uh, Mahwan. If a pressure ship goes to Calcutta, they first of all take the silk embroideries and open the silk and other silk goods which have been brought there and discuss the prices of them one by one. And once the price has been fixed, they write out an agreement stating the amount of price and this agreement is stated by the persons. Then, we also understand that numerical skill was not only required to trading communities, but one lot involved in the network including producers, local merchants or middlemen. Thus, we have different kinds of mathematics as one chronicle and gold, which is already explained. 
then nelkalak kushmal body and one kalak regarding the eye and other and thirty kalak timba machine of the timba and so on palisa kalak and so on uh, since all these were the related to everyday life in village school syllabus they found a prominent place teachers made use of text like kanakadiga or kanaku chodyam or kanaku sarga to elaborate fundamental concepts for this vernacular works made use of elaborate as a source book and it is evident from the following uh, work this is also shown which is already short the curriculum of any given time is the embodiment of the dominant socio political ideology and cultural perspective no wonder a society based on ultimate agriculture can trade wanted to frame an education with over emphasis on basic mathematics advanced level computations and knowledge in metrics then uh, before uh, okay then Uh, every day, and another thing is that trade again. Another uh, thing is that uh, the influence of astrology. Okay, then uh, uh, astrological knowledge was used in every important event like birth, death, marriage, destiny to give first solid, to travel, to take the medicine, planting of tree, sowing seed, and donation, and so on. It was believed that human fortune is determined or controlled by the stars. Position on the planet. planet. Then it was quite impossible to avoid professional and astrologer in every situation. To tackle this, basic astrology was made mandatory in the school curriculum. Then, as a textbook of astrology in the classroom, Kala Deepa Gam Bari Shankaram and Murtha Padmi Bari Shankaram deserve special mention. The suffix Bari Shankaram indicates their pedagogy nature. It seems it mentions the students. And then another thing is uh, taught in the classroom was Java, a specialized Java. That is specialized in computation aspect uh, in trigonometry was also taught in the classroom. The concept of Java and its computation is well explained in the fourth chapter of Sadhguru Kumala, a classic work on astronomy by Shankara Varman of Arthanato. From him, uh, this Charles Fish got the idea about the, uh, the Kerala, the uh, special features of uh, Kerala mathematics, and uh, Java was also and uh, Uh, then there are different uh, types of jars and the computation. How to compute these things were also taught in the class, everyday class. It was not a specialized thing. One of the significant features, uh, significant contributions. And finally, I want to tell you that another feature is that about the contemporary two three things. Uh, the contemporary philosophical trend will answer why past generation attached to supreme uh, knowledge of language and mathematics in their curriculum. Influential trend in the education of the time was somewhat similar to modern formal discipline. Here, according to it, human mind is composed of different faculties and can be strengthened through rigorous training given to each of them. Language, logic, or mathematics, etc., were the disciplines suggested to mould different faculties of the mind. They believed that training in language and mathematics, arithmetic, geometry, arithmetic, geometry, algebra, and trigonometry would improve the ability of reasoning. It was expected that in the experience gathered through the learning of such classic research would automatically transfer to real life situation. And uh, then another thing I wanted to uh, mention is the nature of indigenous schools. Schools were single teacher schools, and uh, teacher used and by variety he taught variety of subject at simultaneously. And uh, to uh, but the single teacher used uh, senior students as monitors to impart knowledge in the classroom. So. That it was uh, very economic for the students, and they did not give lecture uh, or fees to many the teachers. And this monitoring system that strengthened uh, the students' memory and other things, uh, and that is also another reason for, for the uh, mathematical skills of the. Uh, and finally, I conclude. Then uh, scholars like recently, uh, recent scholars like Howard Gardner advised that instead of a single structure of intelligence, intelligence studies uh, about the intelligence, he says that there are different and independent intelligences like uh, um, logical, mathematical, linguistic, body kinesthetic, musical, intrapersonal, or interpersonal. Either of them is superior or inferior. Some people excel in some areas and others in another. However, in traditional Kerala society, people with linguistic and mathematical intelligences were honoured with the X 
extreme respect reveals the fact that intelligence is nothing but a culturally divided concept in different cultures, different texts are being treated as intelligent activity in traditional Kerala society. Mathematical skill was considered to be one of the core value very okay. Then all these article uh, then finally uh, interrupting the introduction of modern education, there was a divide between language and mathematics. And content of studies and method of instruction are also considerably changed. But this ultimately resulted in the decline of the glory of indigenous mathematics. Thank you, Sri Vijay, for your paper. We discussed about the pedagogical aspects of mathematics in Kerala. Uh, now, actually, we may require several hours to discuss the points raised by the three groups, but we will uh, devote one or two minutes to discuss the salient uh, aspects of the paper. One or two points, because we are running short of time, that's why and we become so hasty in this. So just quickly, uh, why that <coughs> the empty bunch is the first scientific literature in Malayalam. But at the same time, you signed the current kind of, kind of, uh, much earlier. So uh, you should uh, maybe clarify what you consider scientific uh, literature in Malayalam. So how many Sanskritists for whom empty bunch is the first scientific literature in Malayalam? Should we use that categorization when we look at uh, the Malayalam knowledge prior to Thank you. 